seen your temporary space yes. uh, that you're going to be living in while you do this huge renovation, Jackie. And part of part of the joy and the charm was the backsplash yes. in your trailer. So a lot of people would look at that backsplash and say, oh my gosh, she went all out. She even has a gorgeous backsplash. Guess what? It's peel and stick. It's amazing. And Which is know, amazing. It really is because I renovate a lot of kitchens uh, and, and a lot of spaces, but what I particularly love is that a backsplash is like the jewelry. At the end yeah. of the project, when I'm picking out a backsplash with a client, I just think it really, it's like the jewelry, it's, it's, it can be fun, it's the focal point. So for people living, you know, a temporary fix for this would be to do the peel and stick because, yeah. you know, you want to be able to remove it if you need to. Let's say you're in a rental mm -hmm. or you just don't want to spend a lot of money. Um, my little project ended up costing me about $350. That's great. And I was really delighted. I got all of the, all of the products I'm going to show you today are from Home Depot. Look at the texture and this one is, on this peel and stick. It's like a it actually is bumpy. Marble. It's like a marble. It's bumpy. It's a marble. That it is took so me cool. About a day, and I just thought it was a really beautiful. Um, it elevated the look of that kitchen. It I used really the did. color onyx. You know, I did a dark cabinet, and I thought that this really played with all of my colors. That it was beautiful. Yeah. So how do you do it? Well, first of all. Originally, you know, they've been around for about 10 years, so it's nothing new, but what's happened is the offerings have become quite sophisticated, far more classic, mm -hmm. really easy to do. You need basic tools. Now for mine, because it was a stone, we did use, it was a, it was a DIY, my husband and I did it, uh -huh. and we used, he did use a Dremel, just because we have not square windows, we had little curved windows, so he had to do a little bit of curving, but it was simple to do. Yeah. For any of the other ones, that's really what you need. Is you need to draw a plumb line. I'm going to do a really basic do it yourself. First of all, your surface has to be painted, it's got to be dry, it's got to be clean. So a plywood, any kind of drywall will work just fine. And what you do is you draw your plumb line. You need to have a level with you. Mm -hmm. And you might use an X Acto tape and, of course, measuring tape. Yep. And you, first of all, once you've done your line, you then stick. So you can see that. You can stick this on. Yep. So your level, it's right, everything's nice and square. So then your next piece, you're going to fit in. Now remember, when you peel back this adhesive, it's pretty sticky. So you got to get it right. Read the directions, because with my directions, and I assume it goes with all of them, because it's the same adhesive, what you do is you make a, a mixture of water and dish detergent, put it in a water, like a little spray bottle, yeah. and lightly mist it so that there's some movability, oh, so it can sort of slide in. But okay. it literally can be punched right in. That's so cool. You don't have to grout, you press it on, and this stays. It this is stays. amazing. It really does. So think of even, you know, if you've got rental properties and you're looking to exactly. you make sure your finishes look really good, but you don't want to spend a lot of money, this is really exactly. smart. So what are some of the new offerings? Well, I particularly love oh, this look one. look at this. So this, this is done in the herringbone. I can't really, I don't want to mess up the whole pattern it's, here. But, but I love the great. color. It's sort of a beautiful soft champagne yes. color. The, another one, again, is your more classic. It's, again, the little stainless steel. And you can see that because of the, the lines of the stainless steel, this little mosaic actually looks like it's got two different colors, but it's yeah. simply just switch the grain, which That's is really cool. pretty. You can also purchase edge pieces. Yep. They go on with a self-adhesive. And those would be for corners and edges, so you get a nice, clean edge. So it really does look professional. Nice. Now, the ones over to your left, Tracy, those are just vinyl. They're just vinyl sheets. And again, very simple. You have to just peel them off, stick them on, and they're really, they're, they're even really lightweight. You can see very flexible. Yeah. So all you need is a pair of scissors. These are like sticker book quality. You got it. All you need is a pair of scissors for these. But they look these. good on the wall. They you certainly know what I mean? do. Because look at the next one as well. If you want to show that one, that's a perfect one. Again, that looks like a little stainless steel. Yeah. It's similar to this, but you can see that again, it's going to give you the same look. Yeah. Give you a lot of bang for your buck. And nice. then lastly, what I wanted to show you was something right in front of you. It's a mat. So let's say you decided, well, you know what? I, I want to put on a tile, but I don't really want to be doing, I'm not a tiler. You can get mats either in rolls or in sheets like this. Mm -hmm. This is an adhesive that gets put onto the wall. Okay. And to your left is actually a real tile. And you can stick your real tile on top of this adhesive. Okay. But the only additional thing you would have to do with that is you would have to grout it. Oh, I see. So there's a little bit more work with that. So that's yeah. someone who says, you know, I want a little bit more authentic. It's a bit more, re it looks it a little is, bit more. But it's amazing that you don't have to go to all the trouble. This, these puppies hold. And it was sort of a funny story. When I was putting my ledge stone on, we went, my husband put a little too much of the water on. Yeah. And boy, that baby was a slipping and a sliding. <laughs> you know? But it ended up working really well. It's, it's sticking. And remember, I'm in a trailer, so my walls are like paper thin. Yes. But it's, it's sticking. It's looking great. And I really feel that whether I do it for myself in a, in a little 
little temporary space or for anyone in a space, mm -hmm. it elevates the look of your kitchen and instantly makes you feel good. And it's pretty, I mean, it's not that heavy, no, you know, so this is all. amazing. Not at all. Really good. I love that we've got such great options these days.